I think Mrs. Voorhees was into some witchcraft and she was bringing Jason back and she was successful. The Shovel Crew, welcome back to Pillowcase of Doom. But this is a special Pillowcase of Doom. Yes, all summer, we're doing the Summer of Slashers. Our Pillowcase, right here, it's gonna be all slasher movies. Some we've seen, some we've not seen. We rolled off D20 style because the dorks that we are. <laughs> Yeah. D&D, uh, we rolled off to see who gets to pull it out. Guess who won? <laughs> so it's not just D&D &D night, you get natural ones. Yeah. You get natural ones whenever we uh, we roll off for uh, Pillowcase of Doom too. The Pillowcase of Slashers. But, so, let's go in here. Got the trusty Pillowcase here. Full of Blu-rays and 4Ks. I have removed the slip cases from me that way that the the person uh, that way that the person that is drawing it out can't feel oh that's a slip I know I want to pull that one out you know I know how you are all right <laughs> what did I get well look at there Friday the 13th remake who plays Jason in this Friday? Derek Mears. Of course you know that because <laughs> that is your favorite, favorite. Jason. <laughs> yeah. And my favorite Friday the 13th too. Okay, well, so I guess we're doing Friday the 13th, the remake from 2009. Uh, I'm excited. I like it too. So we're obviously, we're watching the Blu-ray from the box set that Scream Factory put out uh, a couple of years ago. It has, uh, on, on this disc, it has uh, both the original theatrical uh, version and the extended director's cut we'll have to make a decision you're gonna to have to make that decision which one we watch we watching the theatrical or we watching the unrated 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 cut uh, i kind of figured that's what you would say um then you also have hacking back slashing forward then the terror trivia track with picture in picture the seven best kills the rebirth of jason voorhees and slash scene so i'm guessing that's like the deleted Scenes. Kill edit scenes. Yeah. This was just pretty much just the killer cut that uh, they had released earlier. So you're you're not getting a, a special Scream Factory release of this. It's just basically just that re-release. Let's get watching. Paramount is giving us this nice blood red logo paramount logo really getting us ready for the bloodbath we're about to watch but then then we get this nice opening credit flashback you see a girl running through the woods and bam there's mrs Voorhees, you know coming in to take care of the last camp counselor that allowed her um son to drown it's gonna be easier for you but then you know, Todd's turn. The girl that's running ends up cutting off Mrs. Voorhees' head. But then out walks Kid Jason. Little Kid Jason just walks out there, see Headless Mama, and grabs a machete. First, grab the necklace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, with the locket. Yeah, set. yeah. And then grabs a machete. But how is Jason back? See, that's the part they're not telling you. You got to start formulating that in your mind. So let me know down in the comments. How do you think Jason comes back? I have my ideas. I think Mrs. Voorhees was into some witchcraft bullshit. And she was bringing Jason back. And she was successful. There he is. Brought him back. He saw his mama get beheaded and um now he's got a kill for mama i don't know what do you think that's a good theory i think so i'd like to know what the uh the shoveled ones think let us know down in the comments and you know we have missed a damn good chance of an awesome fucking you know remake series because i mean they're setting this up good you know with Derek mears the whole works man the thing is is they drop the ball yeah i mean you know this is what Almost 15, 15 years. Yeah. I was down for the, let's, you know, replace it in time to like 1980. It's cool. Cool. I'm, I, I dig that, you know. They, they were giving us so much here. And then, I don't know, legal bullshit, I guess, came about. Victor Miller, Sean Cunningham. Y'all mother effers. 
I know it's your favorite Friday the 13th, but did this viewing anything change? I still love it. You still <laughs> love it. Music wise, apparently there are a, a few songs in the movie, but the only one I can recall is not Ranger Sister Christian. That is the only song I recall. You know, the credits play and you know, I'm sitting there singing all these, uh, all these songs and I'm like, I don't remember any of those. So that's weird. The score was decent. Uh, it was pretty good. I mean, you know, it's a yeah. modern, I say modern day, but it's 15 years old now. It's a late 2000s score. I mean, you got the, the guy that's scoring it, Steve, I put his last name here. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> Not even gonna try it. He 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 did the score for Transformers, and he's like Mr. Remake because he done the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, Texas Chainsaw Massacre the beginning uh, score. He did the uh, Amityville Horror score. He did the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street a remake score. But I thought it, I thought it was a. It was a it was a decent score. There was actually one piece, and they they played it throughout the the, the movie, and then also the uh, over the the end credit. I liked it. The director Marcus, you can put the last name right here. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. He done uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, two thousand three. Oh, so he did the remake. He directed the yeah. remake. Uh, he also directed a, a Faith No More video uh, for Small Victories, so that's really cool. He did other uh, music videos as well. And the cast, uh, obviously, we got Sam from Supernatural here. Really good to see him here. My only negative part about having Sam in this movie is he should have fucking died. I mean, come on. Clay should have fucking died. A final girl, that's all we needed in this movie. And he had to survive. Or did he? So, and that, that's another negative I have. The ending. The ending, it's like they wood chip him, right? Obviously, that didn't do much because no. you have the whole fucking body, body like on the fucking dock at the end of the movie. And then, you know, Clay kicks the body off without the mask. mask. You were yep. mentioning something about the mask, like originally. Originally, they uh, had his mask on. Off doing the wood chipper. Yeah, but the, then the the fans, uh, the screening, the fans yeah. reacted poorly on that. Then they put it back yeah. on them. So, but it's weird because when he kicks them off, there's then, no mask. Yeah. All of a sudden, yes, we gotta get that jump scare out that was in the original Friday the Thirteenth with Jason coming out of the water. I mean, it was a decent jump scare. But A, he has the mask back on. Yeah. How? Was it all a dream? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Speaking of masks, though, uh, let's talk about the Sackhead uh, mask. It doesn't hold to my heart like the Friday the 13th Part 2 Sackhead mask look there. But, yeah. I mean, you gotta admit, this Sackhead Jason was pretty metal. That was pretty pretty good. I, I mean, it was, it was, it, I like it. I like it. So, just a little bit more about the cast. You know, you got, you got, you got... You got people from CW. I mean, that was kind of popular at the time. You mentioned that the cop actually was in Days, Days of Our Lives, Lives. So that's really cool. And uh, we also had uh, the, the the guy Trent. He was in like... Uh, Transformers. Transformers. As another... As Trent. As Trent. So, you know, that's pretty funny. Uh, it is a Platinum, a Platinum Dunes thing, so... I mean, it, it makes sense, but Trent in this movie was a scumbag, okay? But his scream was freaking epic. The last thing I like to get out here is my favorite kill, and I'm sure you have a favorite kill. My favorite kill, I believe his name was Richie. He's the the, the, the cat that, you know, got stuck in the, uh, the bear trap, which I know you love. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's a simple kill, but just that machete, machete through the forehead, that is just classic. I love that kill. Uh, what was your favorite kill? The screwdriver. Oh, the screwdriver scene? Through the uh, was his name Chewy? Was that his yes. name? That stoner dude? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty brutal pretty brutal uh and then you know this movie wasn't flowing with gore but i mean it had some brutality that's for sure there's some nice little stalking scenes going on i mean you really get what you you know want in a slasher movie you get, there's a lot of negativity about this movie because like most remakes there's gonna be uh but i think this one is undeserved i mean you know at the time when we saw this one in the theater I mean, it gave us what we wanted, you know? It gave us a slasher movie. 
yeah. you know. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the, this video, I I think we were robbed a really good series here. This remake series. Mm -hmm. If you guys are out there, you're about to pop in your your Blu-ray for Friday the 13th remake. Please stay spooky. And stay away from Pat's Blue Ribbon, please. Thank you.